All right, so the brand new Fortnite Festival game mode is now available, and it looks like I just got gifted a music pack by Epic Games, but we were supposed to get six of these already for free. But if you log on this morning, you should receive at least six of these. Let's see if we get any others. Nope, that was it, okay. 773,000 people. So look at these game modes. Everything's popping off. Battle Royale, Zero Build's kind of down there. Even Rocket Racing, almost 300,000. Lego, of course, reigning supreme. So let's go into the Fortnite Festival mode and see what happens. So you can see we're on the main stage back there. So the first thing to note is that there is a battle pass, but in order to access it, you do have to go into the mode itself. So let's click that. And now up here, you can see it says Festival Pass. Look at this. So this is the mini battle pass. There's a free section and then there's a paid section. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. So this is season one. So this festival game mode will have seasons. And it says, take center stage and complete festival quest to gain festival points during opening night. So you need a thousand per each reward, it looks like. So in the free reward, we start with a loading screen, main stage feeling. Then we go to the Butter Barn Hoedown. Okay, so they gifted everyone that FNCS one for free at the start. And it looks like you have to get the other ones in the battle pass. Interesting. Here's the Stellar Burst, which I can't see. Let's go back and see if it... There it is. So this is only usable in Fortnite Festival, not Battle Royale. Take Me Higher. This is a great track. Another FNCS one. We got Equalize. That is an emoticon. Okay, that's kind of lackluster. Switch Up. This is a great music pack as well. Now this one, of course, is usable in Battle Royale. Because that's where it came from. High volume, another emoticon. Run it. This is another FNCS one. This is my least favorite one out of all the free ones. Chill Llama, another emoticon there. We got Brace for Chaos. This is one of my favorite FNCS tracks. It takes a few playthroughs, but once you hear it multiple times, you're gonna love it, I swear. Nanner Jammer, this is a guitar, and look, it is usable in Battle Royale. I'm going to have to test that out and see what happens. And so that's the quote tier 100 right here. 11,000 festival points to get it. So how about the paid track? It's called the premium reward track. And it also includes the Rift Rock Aura and access to the bottom row. So let me just click upgrade to see what it does. Okay, so you instantly get the Rift Rock Aura on the left. And of course you access the bottom row. So the next tab says if you've already earned points for the free pass you'll go to where you are in the premium so for example let's say you grinded to right here this emoticon in the free one if then you decide to buy the premium battle pass you'll start right down here on this one so you'll get all these for free instantly that's what that means then it says premium reward track items may be available in the item shop at a later date okay so if you miss out on this paid battle pass most if not all these things could come back it says so let's see what we can get the Weekend's mic, again, usable in Battle Royale. Another loading screen, drop the beat. My songs know what you did. This is from Fall Out Boy. I love that song. Good stuff. High Wire, another instrument. We got Gangnam Style. Next up, we got another guitar instrument. We got the 90s hip hop song right here. Poison. Sludge, another instrument. This is a keytar. Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. It's a good one. Bouncing Bars is a Aura. And then obviously the top tier is The Weeknd himself. So you can use him in every game mode except for Lego. And he does have a few styles as well. Pretty sweet. So how about in the item shop? What did they update there? Let's go to the shop. So there is a Space Fleet Control Guitar and a Pit Kit. Oh boy, these are a thousand V-Bucks a piece. Again, they are usable in Battle Royale, but so you can see I can't equip an aura, but that's only in the festival game mode. And we got some jam tracks. So we got Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. It looks like they're 500. Ooh, that is a creepy image right there. We got Seven Nation Army. I don't know this one. 
Okay, we got Save Your Tears by The Weeknd. That's a common one. Take My Breath. Oh, that's The Weeknd as well. Okay. We got Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. Nice. This one's the Kendrick Lamar one. And The Hills. The Weeknd as well. And I think that's it. So these are 500 a piece. So if you want them all, that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 3,500 V-Bucks. And then it looks like the weekend bundle is also available. So he comes with the XO6 string, the XO keys, the weekend combat. It says TBD, to be determined down there. Let's see what else you can do. So you can turn him into a white style with a do-rag. That's pretty sweet. You can take his jacket on and off. There's the white version. You can put his mask on and off as well. Let's try this version with the mask. And without the jacket. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now he also has a transformation emote. Let's see what that does. Takes the mask off, raises it up to a thunderous applause. How about when he puts it on no you can't put it on okay this is the exo what is this back bling yep back bling we got a wrap the axo pickaxe and the popular vibe which is copyrighted okay and then the rocket league stuff from yesterday is still here and all the skins looks like they may have updated just a little bit krampus is back and Innovator Sloan, I think she was here yesterday. I don't remember the Brot Bundle being there though. And the Hush Bundle. And the Neon Glow Bundle. So back to the Festival Pass real quick, because I just wanted to make mention, as I said earlier, that these are not exclusive. You can clearly see that when you go to Upgrade, it clearly says Premium Reward Track Items may be available in the item shop at a later date. So it doesn't sound like it's going to be exclusive to this mini battle pass if you don't want to buy it right now. But as in this very moment in time, this is the only way to get this version of the weekend skin. The other one, as you saw, is in the item shop, purchasable right now. So how about the quest to earn these festival points? How easy is it? Let's take a look real quick. So you can earn stars, play notes, and play songs or drums. So that pretty much sounds like you just play. Weekly, play new or featured songs. Complete daily quests, earned band stars with others earn stars on any instrument so I think the better you perform in the mode the more stars you get which will give you the festival points there's daily quests jam for five minutes 10 minutes 15 20 25 30 minutes so that gives you a lot of festival points there there's weekly quests as well and it looks like you can also earn XP or sorry levels earn stars on the main stage and play on the jam stage cool so I think I'm going to show the actual game mode in a separate video because I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. So there you go. It's a little overwhelming and I haven't even touched the new game mode yet. So pretty much there's a free battle pass. There's a paid battle pass. None of the items apparently are exclusive. They could all come back to the normal item shop at any point. So there you go. I can't wait to upload some footage of actual gameplay from the new mode. Stay tuned for that. There you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.